bringing the people behind our food to life. You go into the grocery store and not much of what's in the grocery store is feeding really anybody. The rows and rows of sugary breakfast cereal, the a complete aisle of high fructose corn syrup packaged yeah. with water and carbonation to right. form soda pop. Right. Most of the frozen food. I mean, it, 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 is, it is amazing to me that we have a food system that often has so little to do with food. Well, that's exactly right. And we have um, an agriculture system that is an industrialized, all right? And so we have industrial food. And most of the agriculture is devoted to animal feed and to industrial products, you know, all the corn that's grown, and now for biofuels, okay? So it's very, it's me mechanistic in the way it grows food, the way it processes food, the way it globalizes and industrializes the whole system from the ground up, okay? It hasn't, our bodies are not machines, okay? And we need to understand that the, um, the health of, the, of a biological system also requires all parts of it to be healthy, okay? So we've taken food and we've sort of taken it out of the biological system and industrialized it and then tried to get it down into a few essential components that maybe we can live off of. It's, it's not working. We can see that on our healthcare system. We have the cheapest food in the world and we have the most expensive healthcare in the world and we have a constantly degrading environment and we're spending $30 billion a year to support a system that feeds most of its food to, to industrialized, very uh, stressed out animals who also have to have antibiotics and hormones. You know, I mean, this is crazy. This is just crazy. Well, why is it happening? It's happening because we've given over our food production to some companies whose only purpose is to make some money. Their purpose is not to feed people, okay? So if you wanna have a food system whose purpose is to feed people, hopefully healthy people, and healthy food and healthy farms, you gotta get back to the farmer. Who's the farmer, you know? And reconnect that relationship between the producer and the consumer. And get out all these other sort of um, parts of the system that are just exploiting it for other purposes. And the reason I chose to write about in genetic engineering is, is that was the first technology that came along that really um, severed our relationship with living beings. It cuts and pastes and goes between species. And it says, you know, you can put a bacteria or a virus, you can put a fish into a strawberry, you can mix things up, you can play God. And that's not the same as technology like chemicals. Although it, it needs to be said, it's being done by the same companies because the genetic engineering has being done by the agrochemical companies for weed and pest control for the same reasons that they invented the chemicals that, that have been you know, being used. What's really important here is, is that even genetic engineering is becoming an older um, problem. We now have synthetic biology, nanotechnology, robotics, and other biological systems that are artificial and invasive and much even more problematic. And that's being used for the biofuels. It's being driven by an economic issue, an economic problem that I call the botany of scarcity because we do not combine human ingenuity with the genius of nature. We're assuming we know how to control and manipulate nature for our own ends and we dominate it and we use actually fairly violent means to accomplish these uh, new products. And it's all driven by patents, it's all driven by money. It is not about solving real problems for real people in the world. Um, genetic engineering as it's used in agriculture is totally the wrong technology in terms of talking about feeding the world or being more productive or helping the poor. It's not doing that. Study after sh study has shown that. Um, so what we have here is we have people who've used these uh, critical moral and, and um, human issues to, as a gloss, as a, as a way of trying to promote their products, but the products themselves don't work or they don't solve the problems they're purported to solve. Um, it's really a technology, or I, I like to say it's an invention still in search of a necessity.